find them. I will handle it. Stop! He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Women, is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't they need you. Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? Like a draft of animals and bread and cheese. Connor, this here is Oliver, and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about. The Lord of the Manor. We were passing through his all and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty, and we had some barrels in the back. And... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on our round bar. Hey, you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. What? We would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Mama, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually the right piece will present itself. As you wish. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. Norris, I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Your yam is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no weapon? Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman like her before. I would like to know her better. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen?
I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. Pas de problème. We blow it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover! Ah, that's a nice one! Thank you. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. Be careful. I'll be at the mine. And what you said about Miriam is interesting. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. Hello, Connor. Norris! How are you? All right. Remember we talked about Miriam? I do, and the cougar she felled. One shot. Confident and precise. Incroyable. I like her. She is a good friend. We all do. Not like that, Connor. Oh. Oh. Well, good for you. Only good for me if she likes me back. She's a strong woman, an independent woman. I admire her. I wish you well in your quest, Norris. Hello, Connor. Hello. Is something the matter? No, nothing that need worry you. I would not pry, but please know that if there was anything I could do to help, I would. It's all right. Connor already knows half of it. As you know, we've been trying to have a child, Connor, for a long time. Thus far, we have not been blessed even once. It takes its toll after a time. You must not force such things. Nature will grant you with the young one when the time is right. We hope you're right, Connor. At the very least, we are at peace here. Norris. Um, you know Miriam? Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. Uh, all right. Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. Prudence. Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do... You women like, in terms of gifts. A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it, Norris Fancy? Best not say for now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Norris, are you in there? 
Uh, we? Oui? Oh. I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Kanan Dokong. Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. I, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was <laughs> not a good person, but I was not a good person.
William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... Don't mean to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice what you've done. Real good of you. What is happening here? Regulars have taken to conscribing the young ones around here. It's not right. I, I was thinking that maybe we could do some good together, if you had the time. What would you have me do? M more of the same, actually. I, I got a plan cooking, but the folks need to know they've got someone to turn to. Find me when you're done. They're still conscribing kids all over. But I wager you've been off frying bigger fish. Oh, can you? Welcome to the regulars. The most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice, others not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this. Rounding up the young ones, and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? You can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. That should do. Cover me from up there. sort of training. Understand? You've been selected, not for your talents or fighting prowess, but because of the way you think. You will soon find out what all this means, but no, it is a great honor. Some of you won't make it. Others will rise to new heights. Either way, you will give your life to a new cause. Assassins strive for peace through freedom, and the Templars 
They want only to control. Well, I'm for freedom, I know that much. If your order needs a good rifle, sign me up.